Hey folks, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Today, we're gonna learn how to paint the Legion of Everblight skin tones. So let's get blighted. So to paint the Legion skin, the blighted flesh color, as we like to call it, we're gonna mix Frostbite, XL Blue, and Scorn Red, and that's gonna be a base color, even here in the little inside of the tentacle, um, which won't be that color, but we want it in there for a later step. We're gonna create our shadows by adding more XL Blue, more Scorn Red, and work those in there. And then our highlights will be our base color with some Marl White, I'm gonna put it like up here, maybe a little bit right there. And then we're gonna finish off with some pure Marl White. What's the mixing medium? Do like a nice little translucent little pop, just to give it that little bingity bang. So let's see how that's gonna end up. So first things first, we're gonna need a bunch of the Frostbite because not only is this gonna create our base coat, it's gonna create our shade. We're also gonna to have to reference back to it for our highlight color. So I'm, I'm gonna get a bunch of this out into my palette. We're just gonna add a little bit at a time. Um, it's hard to take away paint, so by putting in a little dot, slowly build up the color we want. We're just gonna go with like a very desaturated purple here. There's pure frostbite, and there's our base color. So you can see the difference with just those little tiny touches of blue and red. It gets that nice desaturated purple that is very indicative of Legion. All right, let's go ahead and lay down this base. So I'm just gonna coat the entire tentacle of our Hellmouth, except for the chitin. I'll leave that, leave that for later. So I'm really going for one coat here. I'm gonna get this done. We're gonna do several layers of our shading and highlights, so should be able to blend that away. He's kind of got this texture going back and forth, so I'm just kind of working with that texture. That way the paint goes into the texture. Now if I wanted to dry brush this, I'd go against the texture, and then that way it just the ray surfaces would be picked up would really accentuate this. It'd be kind of cool if you were doing like a desert legion army. You want them to look dry. You could uh, definitely dry brush the heck out of these uh, Hellmouth tentacles and get a really cool effect. And just smooth out any spots that is too thin. All right, not bad for a base coat. All right, to make our shade, we're gonna pull some of our base color over here. We're just gonna add more Exile Blue. It seems like a lot. And another drop of Scorn Red. You don't want this to overpower one way or another. You don't want it more blue than red. You don't want it more red than blue. You just want a nice purple color. Blue is a very powerful color, so it takes usually takes less blue. There we go, something like that. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm thin it down just a little bit. This is a nice organic creature, so I don't have to be super perfect on the blends here. But I just want to put that purple tone in there. I want to do these inside of the tentacle. Shade that. Just get those colors in there. And just work that shading everywhere. Everywhere you feel like it needs to be. All right, we got a quick, loose shading on our first step here, and now it's time to add our second shade. For our second shade, we're gonna mix Scorn Red and Exile Blue together. And this makes a really dark purple. Don't let it get too red, don't let it get too blue. You want a nice mid-purple. Feels a little red. There we go. If you feel like it's too intense, you could grab a little bit of your first shade and desaturate that. There you go, it takes a little bit of that punch out of there. Let's blend that into those deep shadows. I'm just gonna keep this, especially right down here at the base of the rock and the tentacle where it's coming out. I want that super dark. I think that looks really cool down there. 
Just bring it up and let it get in those recesses. Just blend it up. Take your time. I want to keep this nice and thin in here. Just have some of that shade happening. We could even thin this down a little bit, almost like a wash. Especially that inner lip where the flesh of the tentacle meets the little, little globby bits on the inside. What a nice dark line there. Create that contrast. Put some nice dark shadow in the back side of this. Blend that around a little bit. And we can come back to this area that we abandoned earlier. I guess we didn't really abandon, we just had to move on while something dried. Onto the skin just a touch. Let that flow into all those little crevices. Kind of let that capillary action work for you, right? So with our shade complete, we're ready to start a highlight. Now I've already moved some of our base color over to another well. I'm going to add Mara White to that, and this will be our highlight color. Now we can see the difference between the two of them. And it's always good to have a little bit of that base color left over. You might need to clean up or something like that. It's a pretty good highlight. You can see it next to each other there. All right, I'm just going to start highlighting. I'm just going to blend this highlight color anywhere where I kind of feel like there should be some highlights. I want to keep this real minimal. Kind of just blend that out. With all this texture, you can also do some little, little lines to build in some highlighting. This just kind of emphasizes the textures there that's built onto this model. This also helps the skin look stretchy. Maybe over here. Not all Legion skin has this texture, but the idea is the same. You're just using the highlight in a different way. You could add texture to Legion. That'd be kind of cool. For the final highlight, we're going to use pure Mara White and a drop of mixing medium. This is going to increase the translucency. This will just help us bring that white back into that skin that's very common to the Legion. And we're just going to put this just up here and bring that down. And just anywhere there needs to be a highlight. That's real translucent. You can blend over top of those other colors and still maintain some of it underneath. It's really nice. Accentuate some of these lines in here. Creatures like this, I like putting like some little dots, some little places, kind of makes them look wet. Now, of course, the inside of this isn't done. We're going to do this in a different step. So, this is like a pre step. And I kind of want to accentuate this area right here. Just a little highlight, kind of make that pop. Same on this edge. And once again, you could put a couple little highlight lines, little dots, just to increase that texture. So with it all cleaned up, our blighted flesh is complete. Our Hellmouth is now ready for the next step in his blighted existence. Join me next time as we take on the creepy pinks and reds seen on a number of the blighted creatures in the Legion of Everblight. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. I'm gonna nail it. You don't even need a safety. You ready? Okay, we're getting a safety. That's so dumb. You can nail it once. I mean, I will still be impressed you nail it in the first one. I'm just saying, we're getting to.
Join me next time as we take a look at the blighted chitin of the... One time.